is Nightline with Carolyn Ryan. Kia ora, good evening. The bodies of the five victims in today's horrific helicopter crash have now been recovered. The pilot was Janie Blair from Tiano, a well-known New Zealand skier rated among the country's best. The four passengers were American tourists. The helicopter, a Hughes 530, appeared to become tangled in power lines before plunging to earth at the west arm of Lake Manapuri, close to the lake's famous hydroelectric power plant. These pictures showing rescuers working at the scene were the first taken at the crash site. It's understood the four tourists had fallen behind their tour party and took the chopper ride to catch up. Their relatives in the United States are being contacted tonight. The bodies of the victims have been taken from Fiordland to Invercargill for a post-mortem examination tomorrow. Air accident inspectors will return to the crash scene in the morning. An empty hangar at the Tiano base of Fiordland helicopters. The Hughes, normally based here, now a wreck on a remote beach on Fiordland's Lake Manapuri. It crashed this morning near the West Arm power station, killing the pilot and four sightseers. It's understood the helicopter clipped and damaged one of the four transmission lines. The pilot was Janie Blair, a well-known Queenstown identity. What caused her to crash is still uncertain. Her helicopter came down 300 metres from a dock visitor centre full of tourists. It's a difficult uh, rescue. Uh, it, it is believed that at some stage the aircraft came into contact with a power line and that's caused complications, especially in relation to the number of people who are over in the area on day visits. Uh, and we've just found out in the last quarter of an hour that they have uh, been safely removed from the area. Up until then, it was quite a serious hazard. In an interview earlier this year, Janie Blair told how she'd been flying helicopters for over three years, but her interest in flying had begun as a child. I think, I think um, my passion for flying is comparable to my passion to ski for skiing. Uh, um, I have an affinity for the environment that I live and work in, and uh, it's challenging, it's not always friendly can be quite hostile and very sobering at times, but uh, I think that's what makes it exciting as well. Blair was also a well-known skier, representing New Zealand about 10 years ago, competing against the world's best. More recently, she overcame serious throat cancer. When she recovered, she learned to fly helicopters. Police haven't yet released the names of the tourists who died. Mark Price, 3 News. Yesterday's helicopter crash in Fiordland, though, are a long way off. You'll recall five people were killed when the chopper tangled with power lines over Lake Manapuri. Witnesses say they can't understand why the pilot appeared to fly straight into them. A tourist flight that's ended with the death of five people in remote Fiordland. The wreckage of a Hughes helicopter lying under the high voltage power cables it clipped as it came in for what looked to a local fisherman like a normal landing. I also thought at that time, shit, you're close to the wires. And then there was this, I looked up again and thought, that's not right. And then heard this boom as I was winding in the right. Air accident investigators getting their first look at the crash site right beside the Manapuri underground power station. Not prepared yet to speculate on the cause. We have been uh, made aware of the, the eyewitnesses and the earwitnesses to the scene and we'll be talking to those people later. Uh, but as you appreciate, that's only one part of the uh, investigation that we'll be doing. Police today still recovering personal items scattered around the wreckage, including a video camera that might have recorded the last few seconds of the flight. A charter flight pilot Janie Blair made only because her four American passengers, two couples in their late 50s or early 60s, missed their launch trip across the lake. They missed their connection to the uh, doubtful sound trip uh, and caught the helicopter and that's when the tragedy happened. A tragedy that happened despite the pilot knowing perfectly well that the cables were there. When you're airborne, your depth perception um, sometimes tricks you into believing they're further away or closer than they actually are. Helicopter operators believe the tragedy could have been averted if power companies put up brightly coloured markers on their overhead cables. Where someone creates a hazard, it's incumbent on them to, to uh, to uh, mark it, if I dug a ditch across that road out there, uh, the law requires me to mark it, not somebody who doesn't want to fall into it. The impact left two cables apparently hanging by a thread, but Transpower says only the aluminium casing was stripped away, leaving the steel core intact. Heavy machinery brought in by barge to repair the damage, without any disruption to power supply. The power station itself was built amid controversy in a national park 
Now its cables tragically are putting West Arm back in the spotlight. Michael Turner, 3 News. Ladies and gentlemen, as you probably all know, we had hoped to be down on the lake's edge, but this is Fjordland, and we're adaptable, so we're here. 